This is a valve spring compressor from Torque Technology and it works with the Dodge Cummins 12 valve. I believe that's the part number for it right there. So to install it, the mount for the rock arms has to be removed first. So and that includes removing this head bolt. And in this case the cylinder head is already off the block. So the head bolt is already off. I've already given these valve spring retainers a few taps with a hammer in an effort to free them up a little bit from the locks. So I'm going to install this part first. You can see it's got this area here and it inserts here. So I could feel that that dropped inside there. And uh, next it's this bolt here. This piece, washer, and a nut. I actually don't like the idea of having to remove a head bolt in order to use this tool. If the head is coming off anyways, it really is irrelevant. But if the engine is still in the vehicle and I want to get it running again with the same head gasket, uh, I'm not saying it's going to leak, but I just don't like that idea. And okay, so these valves are actually not far off from the workbench right now. So when uh, this comes loose here, the valves won't drop down very far. They'll actually just sit down on the workbench. And so if, if I was doing this in the vehicle, or with the head on the engine, or on the block, then I would have to make sure I rotate the engine so that they get the piston basically to the top, so that when uh, this comes loose here, the valves don't drop into the engine. The valves will instead just basically rest on top of the piston. So I'm going to start tightening on here now, and uh, I expect that the valves and the springs will start to compress a little bit until it uh, bottoms out on the workbench and then the resistance will probably be enough to uh, pop that loose. I'll see what happens. So one's already come loose. Look, yeah, they both come loose. So I'll just go enough there. Get my magnet. So that actually worked fairly well. 